and they put to rest any speculation that may have existed in the minds of people this morning with regard to the run rate and with regard to who would play in Lahore and in Bombay. With a superb all-round display, India uh, really took New Zealand uh, completely apart and the cornerstone, the highlights of this morning's play, of course, was the 100 first of his uh, career in one-day cricket of, by, the by the great Gavaskar and Chetan Sharma's hat-trick, which is the first of its kind in World Cup competitions. New Zealand batted first on winning the toss and on a wicket that gave a certain amount of assistance and the early fall of bro the Crow brothers and Rutherford, they were unable to maintain any momentum. So let's get on with the action and see how all about it. <laughs> was not on target and the backing up was totally absent. Have another look. Front of his pads. Slight hesitation but then they decide to go for it. And Kapil had to go for the stumps. Shovelin delivery from Manoj and fell on his very quick on his back foot. Pulled it. It's good cricket all along. He has two men on the fence, one at fine leg and one at deep square leg. But Trite has still managed to find the gap between the two. Cleanly through the field. Excellent shot by Phil Horn. Superb delivery. And out goes Phil Horn. The ball coming in and finding that gap between the bat and pair. Good bowling by Manoj Prabhaka. Phil Horn losing his patience a bit, trying to go for that big one on the onside, and the ball finding its way. Over. Parker in the middle of a fine spell of medium pace bowling. Lovely shot by Crow, and that will be four runs for him. The ball. Finds the gap with that hook. Nice shot. And a bad delivery by Chetan Sharma. Too short. ranks there. Tearing it down. Martin Crowley going for the cut, the ball, fish outside the off stump. 
getting a faint edge and Chandrakant Pandit is very quick to latch onto it. Let's go have a look. Yes, it was uh, a faint inside edge, in fact. And a very good catch by Chandrakant Pandit. He was going to lose the second wicket. Steered down to the third man region. As we have this kidding Ravi Shastri grunting almost a sudden fall. Zaruddin was very quick to pounce on it and before Wright could return Chandrakant Pandit uprooted the stumps Another good ball by Maninda and it's put away nicely by Jeff Crow Flicked way down to Fine leg where we've seen uh, Maninda Singh making a violent effort to stop almost a certain fall. Oh, the outside edge. No slip and no sympathies for more to Jeff Crow. He's waiting for that delivery to play that square cut. Four more. It's a good arm ball by Mananda Singh. He fed the New Zealand captain a couple of times outside the off stump with a square cut. But then, that's how he rushed an arm ball. And it was far too close to Jeff Crow's body and stumps for the kind of shot that he wanted to play. It's a neat looking shot. Excellent stroke play by Patel on that occasion. He continues. stroke there for Patel intended to drive got an edge four runs Patel moves to 32 and New Zealand to 172 for five that's a lucky one four runs to Patel second time he's been lucky on a stroke like that Very, very high and a straightforward, simple catch. Find hidden middle sum where it should have been. Chetan Sharma's uh, first wicket. again, and uh, before Ian Smith's up come down, the ball went past 
through the gap. One of the advantages of keeping the ball within the stumps. Chetan Sharma is enjoying it. Hat-tricks are against the name of Jalaluddin from Pakistan versus uh, Australia and Reid Australia versus New Zealand. So New Zealand feature twice in the record books as far as hat-tricks are concerned. And uh, what a tremendous job Chetan's done for the side. Six overs, 29 runs and three wickets in the last over. Better looking shot over the head of the bowler for four. between the slips. And Sandakan Pandit shows his reflexes. Hearted attempt by Snedden to go for a go for a single. Found himself stranded. India's reply to New Zealand's modest score of 221 was electrifying. Srikant started to blaze, and with Gavaskar joining him, the run riot began in right earnest and New Zealand were really in no way to check the, the run rate and either the ascendancy of the batsmen particularly Gavaskar and uh, Srikanth and the New Zealand bowlers were in for a tremendously rough hiding and really paid the price. Sing him back like a tiger. That's quite a shot coming from the great Kaliska. Kaliska making his intentions very, very clear. turned away off his legs and there is the field not able to reach that so it's four runs to Shrikant oh that's a lovely shot by Gavaskar that's six runs on the rise well Sunil Gavaskar and yet again This is unreal. Lusty hitting by Gavaskar. 35 without loss in there. And again. The 
course, was going berserk. I think he's uh, got a point or two to prove. And the man who's going to be happy with this kind of batting is in the stands, Sayyid Mushtaq Ali. front foot and a follow through.
going straight to fill on a deep end wicket. that Shrikant falls to such a catch. What an innings and what a catch. Tremendous cricket here for the Nagpur spectators at the Vidarbha Cricket Association and quite fitting for the last of the pool matches of this Reliance Cup 1987. Went overstretching or overreaching for it. It's a beautiful shot off his toes. Watson beautifully played off his toes lovely shot to four run Reasonably pushed up to him. And that's it, yes. That's Dallas Bears 100. Sunil Malavagal for the game. Only the second Indian to score 100 in World Cup Cup. He joins Cup of the Day. He scored 175 against Zimbabwe. Bit of a misfielding there, and it's true. It's four runs. Good attempt. Fielders, good technique by Azaruddin. Four more runs to him. So that's it then. India have won this match. Won it handsomely, won it convincingly to top their pool and then to meet England in Bombay. With today's well-orchestrated and emphatic win, India's morale and confidence will surely be at a very high ebb. And uh, the, we'll take on the English people in Bombay, the England team in Bombay, with a greater deal of confidence. Uh, but whatever be the ultimate result of the World Cup, the ultimate winner, today's match will long be remembered as a match of Gavaskar and 